Well, the first thing that really strikes me, it's just absolutely beautiful footage where you can see in incredible clarity what the cheetah is capable of. There's a number of key elements here, and one of the most important ones is this spine. So the spine of the cheetah is proportionally the, the longest and the most flexible of any large cat species. And that's really, really important because it enables the cheetah to maximise the stride length. By bunching and coiling the, the spine alone, it's able to expand this incredible stride rate which you see. Look at his back. Watch the back, it's down. Now watch when he comes together, watch when his hind feet come up. Look at the back. Go up just exactly like a coiled spring. My golly, if a horse had a back like that, a horse could go 90 miles an hour. Look, even though I've watched cheetahs run for over 30 years, which is how long I've worked with them, in that super slow motion, I saw things that I'd never seen before. And I don't think I really realized, although I knew it intuitively, that that head just never moves and the eyes stay focused. This is the animal that hunts. The neck stretched out, the head steady. Look how steady that head is. So it's not immediately obvious, but the cheetah's head as well has a whole suite of adaptations. And you can see this if you compare it to a fairly similarly sized animal, the African leopard. You can see that the cheetah skull is, is much shorter and much lighter. So the reason for that is to help expand this nasal cavity so, and to reduce the weight. So this really enables that the, the, the cheetah to have a very lightweight head, which you can see that marvellous moment in the footage where she's keeping it very fixed on the prey. She couldn't do that with an overweight head. And so having expanded nasal cavities here actually helps while she's suffocating the prey to be able to recover. There's another really interesting thing that has only just recently been described about cheetah legs, and that's the ratio of different types of muscle fibers. So we know now that the muscles in the hind leg, high in the hind leg, are dominated by these, these fast twitch fibers, so-called fast twitch fibers, and a particular type of them that enables very, very explosive power. I think the footage is, is really inspirational. It's the first time that people, including someone like me who's been really fortunate seeing wild cheetahs many, many times, including many hunts, but is able to see cheetahs in all their terrific evolutionary splendor. When you see these cats running in this incredible slow motion, you see the perfection of everything that they are. This is the cat that is utter perfection for what he does. He does nothing but run. It's all he can do. He's not built to fight. He's not built to compete with the other cats or even the other predators. This is the only thing he can do, the only thing the cat can do to survive. The perfect running machine for a cat who hunts alone. Wow.